Hey everyone, Bo Austin with School of Lifetime Low Rounds, and today I'm going to show you how to hit a draw with the driver. Okay, so the biggest thing that you have to understand, in order for you to hit a draw, you've got to understand what happens at impact. And if you don't get the face and the path relationship right at impact, then you are going to struggle with this. Okay, so one of the things that you have to start with is understanding, okay, where's my face angle, where's my path at the moment of collision? And to give you an example is, if I have this alignment stick as my target in line with my target in the background, let's say if I come into impact and my path and my face angle, okay, are square, to the target and they're matching up, then that should result in a straight shot. Now I understand some of you that are trying to want to hit a draw is you probably struggle with a fade or a slice right now. And so the first thing that you've got to understand whenever you hit a fade or a slice is why that occurs. Okay? So if we understand that for ball flight laws, okay, for the new ball flight laws, ball flight will always start 85% to the face angle and then the resulting difference is going to be where is the path. Okay? If it's different from the face angle, that results in a curve, all right? But if they match up, that should result in a straight shot in whichever direction those two are lining up, okay? So if we're hitting a slice, and let's say the ball starts left of the target and then curves way off line, then that's going to come from a club path that's coming way over the top like this, okay? we got a path that's coming out and in, and let's say on a track man or flight scope, let's say it's like five, seven degrees, okay, to the left of our target line, but then we have a face angle, okay, that is square or lined up at the target line at the moment of collision. Because of that separation is going to result in a big curve, okay, and if we know with the new ball flight laws that ball is going to start very close to the left of the target line because the ball will always start 85% to the face angle, okay, and because those two are really separated, that's where you see the pronounced curve. Now, in order for you to hit a draw, we've got to have the opposite occur, okay? A true draw, which ball will start right at the target and then come back on line, okay? So in order for you to do that, that means that the club path has to be moving in to out, okay? So let's say on a track random flight scope, if we're measuring this, let's say the club path is moving in to out maybe three to four degrees, but then the face angle is just slightly closed to that but still open to the target line, Let's say it's open one degrees, two degrees. But the reason why you're going to have a curve is remember those two are a little bit different, right? And whenever you hit a draw or any kind of curve to the left, that means the face has to be closed to the path. Club path is moving end out four degrees. Face angle is open two degrees, but it's closed to the path two degrees. You see how that comes together? Okay. And that would result in a ball that starts maybe two and a half degrees to the right. But because we got that difference, now we're going to see a curve back to the target, which is what we want. We want a slight push draw because we never want to start the ball at the target line and then draw away from it, right? We want it to start to the right and then draw back to the target. So in order for you to hit a draw with a driver, you've got to understand the relationship of the face and a pass so you can more accurately determine what you got to start working on. Does that make sense? Okay. Now, for those of you that struggle with a slice or a fade and you want to try to create a draw, this is one of the best drills that I've found from Andrew Rice that does just that. And what you do is you take the club just like this, you rotate it to 1030, and then you re-grip. So what I did not do is grip it like this normal and then rotate my hands. No, what I did is, that's my normal grip, rotate the face 1030 from my view, and then re-grip. Okay, then what you do is you go over here to the stick, align to the target like you normally would with your body. Okay, it would also help maybe to put an alignment stick on the ground to make sure that you're staying accountable. Uh, one of the things that you can do um, that could offset this for you is that you start moving your body this way to cheat. And you don't want to do that to yourself in this drill. Okay, so the objective of this drill is to set up in such a way where you're going to the target with your body in alignment, but with that face closed here, and if you can't see it on camera right now, it's closed about five degrees. So if I were to hit a shot, that ball should start five degrees left of the target. Okay. Now, what we want to do instead, and the objective of the drill, is to get this ball to start right of the alignment stick. Okay. 
So when we get this ball to start to the right of the alignment stick, now we're working on getting the club path to come in to out. And we're also working on the other thing, which is allowing that club to rotate close through the impact zone, which is what we need. Okay. So here's an example of what this drill looks like. You set up like you're going to your regular target, but because that face is shut, we're going to have to start uh, manipulating it and getting it to open up. You do not do it with your feet or your alignment. You just start opening it up with the hands and keeping the grip the way it has been. Then take a little short swing. And as you notice, the ball started right at the stick and curved back. So this is one of the fastest drills to get you to start hitting a draw the correct way, which is ball starting to the right, coming back to the target. And guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe below and hit that bell button. That will keep you up to date on all the content that we're adding to the channel. And uh, if you would like to drop four shots in the next one week, make sure you check out the link I posted below this video. This is the number one course that is now helping every golfer that has completed the course drop an average of 6.8 shots off their game in one week's time. So if that's of interest to you, check out that link below. That will take you to the course. And uh, other than that, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, please comment below.